The crisp chatbot system is a great way to create your own workflows. Those workflows can be used to create, of course, chatbots, but can also be integrated with all the crisp features, such as the crisp campaign system. It's what we're going to do in this video. Let's get down to it. So the first step is going to be to create a new scenario, a new blank uh, scenario. So we're going to click on the entry gate, event, user message matches. So here, what we want to do is to match any user message. So we're going to use a star for this. We're going to chain with a text message. So uh, let's change the message. Now uh, let's ask the user if he wants to attend uh, to a webinar. So for this, we're going to send a picker message. So let's update the text. Now we are going to do two branches, one for each button. So here and here. So in the second case, the user is not wanting to attend to the webinar. In the other case, uh, we're going to ask the username. So action, then it's going to be send message and field. Boom. So this field is pre-configured. We just want to force the user to fill the input. Next step going to be to memorize the value. So we memorize as name. Now, next step going to be to ask the user for his email. So send message and field message. Now you need to change this text because it was pre-configured for a name. We're going to edit the placeholder as well. And same, uh, we're going to force the user to fill the input. Memorize uh, the value. So for here, we're going to use an input action. And we're going to memorize the value as email. One step we missed uh, is to update the crisp CRM with the username. So for this, we're going to update user, username, and we're going to add it uh, in between like this. So here we want to set the username, going to do the same uh, for uh, the user email and we use email. So the idea here is to update the crisp CRM so we have a new user with a name and an email. Uh, now what we can do uh, is to tag a new event. So for this, we're going to go to action, update user, and we're going to submit a new event like this. And the event going to be webinar. Here we are. So now we can test uh, this scenario. We just need to save it first. I'm going to rename it. And now we can test the scenario. So let's send a message. So it sends a welcome message, then ask if I want to attend to a webinar. And then it's going to ask my email. Boom, here we are. So now maybe we're missing a step is to send a final message to the user. It's what we are going to do. So action, send message, text message. We're going to update the message and tell the user we're going to send an email very soon with the link uh, to the webinar. So before going to the next step, just save the scenario. So now we're going to go to campaigns. We're going to create a new campaign on the top right corner, automated campaign, campaign name going to be webinar. So we're going to configure the campaign. So we want to trigger the campaign on the webinar event. Uh, then what we can do is to delay the campaign a little bit. So we're going to send one minute after the event was submitted. And we're going to send a plain text uh, message. And you can edit and create your own message and send uh, the webinar link. To make the message less robotic, what we can do is to say, hey, with the username. What we can do as well is to insert the link uh, right there. Now what we can do is to save the campaign. Uh, we can receive a test first. 
So you're going to receive an email, uh, a test email to your mailbox, and then we are ready to activate the campaign. Crisp also provides campaign analytics so you can know how many people reached uh, your campaign. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't hesitate to subscribe to our YouTube channel to not miss any tips and tricks about Crisp.